use Hamilton's equation to find equation of motion of this simple pendulum suppose this bob is suspended with the help of a string of length l from the point o let this point be a and at any instant this bob is at this point let this point be b and let this bob is subtending angle theta from the center by joining making the perpendicular distance mark this point n and this will also be l and this point will be this distance will be given by l cos theta and this distance that is a n will be given by l minus l cos theta here kinetic energy can be written as d is equal to half mv square which is half into m into r omega the whole square which can be written as here r is l in w that is omega can be written as theta dot then simply m l square theta dot square and the potential energy v will be equal to mgh means the energy with which the bob moves distance a n that is mg a n and which will equal to mg l minus l cos theta taking l common we get 1 minus cos theta now Lagrangian will be equal to t minus v l is equal to t minus v means the difference of kinetic and potential energy Hamiltonian that is h will be equal to minus l plus sigma i is equal to 1 to n pi qi dot here the point is only 1 so we can write pi qi which will be written as in terms of theta p theta qi q theta and q theta dot can be simply written as theta dot okay now substituting of value of l here we get minus on multiplying this negative sign into this bracket we get minus 1 by 2 m l square theta dot square plus mgl 1 minus cos theta plus p theta into theta dot now we know that p theta is equal to d over d theta dot means differentiating of l that is Lagrangian with respect to theta dot means this portion will be constant and differentiating this portion with respect to theta dot we get 1 by 2 as constant and 2 into theta dot this will be cancelled out here we go p theta so from here we can find the value of theta dot which will be equal to theta dot is equal to p theta upon ml square now substitute this value into h then we get h is equal to minus 1 by 2 m 
ml square theta dot ka square means p square theta upon ml square ka whole square plus mgl bracket 1 minus cos theta plus p theta into p theta upon ml square which can be written the square of p square theta means the square of this now here we see that this part will be cancelled out by one power of this part and that remains will be subtracted from this part here we go h is equal to 1 by 2 of p square theta upon ml square plus this mgl 1 minus cos theta now Hamilton's equation that is a canonical form p theta dot is equal to dh over d theta these are the canonical form which means this these we have proved in a previous video we can write simply here is the degree sign differentiation differentiating h with respect to theta here we can differentiate this will be constant this will be zero and different on differentiating this portion with respect to theta we get minus sign is already in the then mgl taking minus sign cos theta differentiation of cos theta is equal to sin theta minus sin theta and this will be plus then we get minus mgl sin theta so this is p theta dot we can say this is the first equation now q theta dot which is actually we have taken theta dot which will be equal to dh over dp theta means differentiating h with respect to p theta then we again differentiating this portion and this will be constant here we get 1 by 2 ml square constant 2 into p theta and this will be cancelled out by this then we get p theta upon ml square theta dot is equal to p theta upon ml square theta upon ml square and this will be the second equation so this is the second Hamilton equation now you see that we can also find the time required to do or to perform a small oscillation by the bob we can calculate as it can be written it can be modified means p theta can be written as ml square theta dot and p theta dot will be equal to ml square theta double dot name this equation third now this is the value of p theta dot and p theta dot is already equal to minus mgl sin theta now equating first and third we get minus mgl sin theta equating first and third we have minus mgl sin theta is equal to ml square theta double dot m will be cancelled out by m this will be cancelled out by one power of this then we get minus g sin theta is equal to l into theta double dot now for a small oscillation sin theta will be taken as theta and theta dot theta double dot means d theta over dt the whole square which can be equal to w square means this will be written as minus g theta is equal to l into w square now finding the value of w square this will be equal to minus g theta upon l or we can say that w will be equal to minus g theta upon l under root and we know that w is equal to 2 pi by t now this can be written as by transforming t into this side as we know that time cannot be negative so removing this sign we get this is the required time for performing small oscillations. Thank you.